Harrison Bergeron. After going clear in the media backlash, the image of the church is all but destroyed. However, shadow organizations such as Narconon still lure an unsuspecting public. What other organizations exist that the public should be made aware of? Scientology has a whole group of what they call social betterment corporations, or SBCs, and um, Narconon is one of those. That is their secular drug rehabilitation program. Uh, they, you know, I could talk about that all day long. They're tied up in all kinds of lawsuits right now for fraud and abuse, and uh, also deaths. Actual deaths have occurred at Narconon facilities. You know, I recently put out a video about the purification rundown and the pseudoscience of that and the fact that it's a very harmful, potentially harmful program. Uh, there have been deaths at Narconon facilities of people who were doing that purification program. And uh, so if you want to know if that thing is harmful or not, well, you know, Narconon uses that. So there you go. Uh, in addition to Narconon, there are uh, other SBCs, other social betterment corporations, such as the Way to Happiness Foundation, which is, um, I think their central location is in Burbank, California. And they're really just a sort of a pamphlet distributing group. They uh, get in donations for printing of these books called The Way to Happiness by L. Ron Hubbard, which is a basically a common sense moral code uh, that uh, he put out in the early 80s. And uh, so The Way to Happiness group publishes those and, uh, and distributes them throughout the world and likes to claim uh, with no proof whatsoever that they've, you know, dealt with uh, horrible civic or civil situations or crime situations just by passing out this book in various areas and getting people to, I don't know, look at it or something. It's kind of silly. I, I made some notes here, so I'll consult them because I don't want to miss any of these. Um, oh yeah, there's also a group called Applied Scholastics, which is responsible for getting uh, Hubbard's study methodology into schools, and they have not been having very good success with that. They have a central campus, and um, I think outside St. Louis, Missouri, where they uh, pull in, they, they get teachers from various countries or in various areas to go and learn Hubbard's study methods, and uh, then send them back out to, you know, put them in the schools. And this is kind of something to be beware of, but I, was, I haven't heard anything from those guys in years. I don't know how active they still are. There's uh, Criminon. Criminon is the criminal handling program where they have criminals. They go into prisons and they do these uh, programs where the criminals will read the Way to Happiness book and do various other Scientology educational activities and and supposedly rehabilitate criminals that way. And again. No evidence, no proof, no real, you know, backing on that. But they get into various prisons around uh, the world and and do that. Um, there is also the Youth for Human Rights group, which was uh, a woman named Mary Shuttleworth and her son. Actually, really were the the impetus of that program. Uh, Scientology kind of latched onto it after she got after Mary got going with that. And what they do is they put a little booklet together that explains human rights to children. Uh, which is really basically not a bad thing, actually. Uh, it's based on the um, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was something that Eleanor Roosevelt put out uh, many, many years ago. It's, a, it's an outstanding document. There's nothing wrong with the Universal Declaration of, for Human Rights. And Mary Shuttleworth latched onto that, and they put a little music video together, and they put this little pamphlets together, and they go around, um, you know, teaching children about human rights. And I... I don't know, I kind of have a little bit of a hard time seeing that, you know, much of a problem with that, uh, except for the fact, of course, that it's, you know, being used by Scientology. Scientology kind of glommed onto that and started claiming credit for it and that sort of thing because Mary Shuttleworth is a Scientologist. So, anyway, that's, that's something that's, that's running around and they do various activities and, and events and whatnot to popularize human rights. Uh, of course, the ultimate irony there is that Scientology is one of the largest abusers of human rights in the world. So the fact that they're pushing a human rights agenda on kids is, uh, you know, the ultimate in hypocrisy, really. And finally, the last group, and, and probably the one that is the biggest money maker for Scientology, all these groups so far, Narconon is a big money maker for Scientology through the credit card fraud and insurance scams that they run. 
on people coming in and doing those, those drug detoxification programs. These other ones are not real money makers, which is probably why we're not hearing too much about them. Uh, they don't really have a lot of potential to make much money with these. But this last group is called uh, the World Institute of Scientology Enterprises, or WISE, W-I-S-E. And that group uses, uh, what, their, what their thing is, is they promote Hubbard's business administration methodologies um, and try to get them into non-Scientology companies, right? Any, any company who's looking for a business consultant can end up finding one of these WISE trained consultants who go in and try to implement Hubbard's administrative uh, methods in the company. And this is, you know, you might have heard about, you know, statistics that Scientology uses and they have graphs and everybody's got a statistic and they have to, you know, keep that statistic going up, 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 meaning they're getting more and more production all the time. And, um, and various, there's a whole slew of things that Hubbard said, you know, organizations should do to be successful. And, of course, if Scientology was a little bit more successful, then maybe those methodologies might be worth something. But as it is, they are wildly unsuccessful. And those, uh, the administrative principles, as far as I'm concerned, are mostly not worth the paper that they're written on. They're, they're awful. And, uh, and I found that after, you know, leaving Scientology's employment, and trying to think with and implement some of that out in the real world uh, just fell on my face over and over again. And I, and I started to see kind of like you see, you know, when you wake up and start looking at what Scientology's effects really are, uh, you start seeing the effects of Hubbard's administrative know-how in the real world and you find it's just disastrous. So, um, but they charge a lot of money. The wise guys charge a lot of money for their business consulting. And more importantly, and this is where it gets into the church, they will use that business consulting, the consulting to, as a gateway to getting those businessmen who happen to mostly be chiropractors and dentists. Um, they really go after, you know, doctors, dentists, uh, chiropractors a lot. And they go and they get those guys funneled into the churches, into Scientology. And of course, you know, doctors, uh, medical personnel, chiropractors generally have a lot of money. And they, they go after these guys with the idea of consulting their business, but more importantly, dragging them into the church and getting them on uh, onto services there and paying the church a lot of money. And this has been a very lucrative activity for the church over many, many years. Uh, they are, there are a couple of companies who, who really specialize in just getting this business consulting done, like this one called Sterling Management, and they have a bunch of consultants, and they send them out and get into businesses and do consulting, and then they work to get those people, you know, into Scientology. So, um, so that's something to really be aware of if you ever run across any of this or this comes across any of your business lines, just run, don't walk in the opposite direction because the only reason that WISE has anything to do with any, any real world businesses is they're looking to just make new Scientologists. So those are some of the groups you can be aware of.